welcome back. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. So last time, Grandma was sick, we ended up seeing the pirates and taking some bombs from them, and we're making our way back to the old forest for a very good reason, viewers. Uh, so, yeah, there is... Remember there is something here that we couldn't get last time? Ugh, forget that guy, he's... Not worth my time unless he knocks me off the edge or something like that. Anyways, if we go up here, there's a sign that tells us... Why is this? Oh, it's a fairy fountain site, huh? Yeah, you could pause if you want to read that. I think I've done enough side quest stuff, so... Let's just put a bomb here. Oh, I was gonna say, that thing jumped way up here. I'd be surprised, considering it does not have wings. Cool! Okay, well, let's go ahead and... Well, I guess I could use a heart. Now let's go ahead and grab an empty bottle, because we are definitely going to need it. Or at least one empty bottle, anyways. Ooh, a fairy fountain! And if you notice, viewers, we did not have to play Zelda's Lullaby! Well, not not in this game. That was Ocarina of Time. Well, Ocarina of Time is still my second favorite Zelda game of all time. Man, I'm using the word time a lot, huh? Aid us? How will this great fairy possibly aid us? Well, we'll find out today. Uh, blowing a flower in my face? No, no, I'm kidding. What she actually does is give us... We can carry more rupees, and now we can carry up to a thousand. Sweet! Now we're not stuck on a hundred, well, two hundred anymore. Yeah, and if you ever get fatigued, you can come back to the Great Fairy Fountain. If you happen to be around the area, and if not, it's really not worth the trip. Anyways, we want to... Oh, that's so sad. We want to capture a couple fairies. Because it'll definitely be worth our time. Uh, let's go ahead and get one more. There we go. Oh, I thought I got water there for a second. So, if you have two bottles, capture a fairy, or if you only have one, capture one fairy. That way we can take it back to Grandma and use it on her. Because that's... Fairies are a cure to everything, I suppose. Man, can you imagine if we had fairies in real life? Oh, man. Okay, run away. I do not feel like fighting the Moblin guy, so let's just... Let's just get out of here. Ugh, darn trees are in my way. I'm coming, Grandma! Yeah, man, Link has really helped his family in this game, huh? But uh, Link has family in every Zelda game. Some of them, but not all of them. Okay, now let's make our way back to Grandma's house, but... Before we... Oh, visit her, we have some mail! Surprisingly. Oh, another letter, huh? I wonder who's writing me a letter this time. Throw the letter away without second thought. What do you mean by big chance? <gasps> yes, yes, and yes! I I'd like one of each, please! Rock Spire Island. First come, first serve. Huh. Oh, so it seems like a beetle shop, huh? Oh, gee, thanks. That's really gonna help me buy a lot of things. I can't find out of the grass or anything. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and crawl underneath the house. I did not want to get this earlier because I knew we'd be getting a lot of money. So we just want to crawl our way underneath so we can get something very good. How much money, are you wondering, viewers? Well, I've got a mouth. Maybe this is Grandma's secret stash or something. But we can get 100 rupees! Oh, yeah. Now, where am I going? The more money, the better. And there is a couple cheap ways to get a lot of money in this game, but... We don't have access to either of those ways at the moment. Uh, I guess we kind of have access to one of them. Okay, yeah, we do, but you need a game more advanced to do it. So I figured I'd try to get as much money as possible the old-fashioned way, which is why we get a lot of treasure charts. Well, let's go visit Grandma and see if they're, the fairy will do us some good. Hopefully, we don't have anything else we can use. Hey, Grandma. I brought you a fairy. Hope, hope the fairy works. Grandma, are you feeling any better? Oh, there's some pictures behind her. How Ooh. unique. Yeah, it's me. I came back. 
That's nice. Uh, maybe you need a hobby, Grandma. Maybe some sewing stuff, or maybe you can write a book. But, well, what you done for your life? I, I sure did. Of course Link's a sweet child. Yeah. Yeah, I still don't have Ariel, though. But you have to be strong, too, just like us. She'll be back. I'll bring her back, don't worry. Oh, you're not a terrible grandma, don't say that. My empty bottle? What are you gonna give me? Some elixir soup. Yeah, it replenishes all of our life and our magic power. I only use it when I really need it. Usually I end up needing magic more than my health at this point in the game, considering that we get a lot of, well, a lot of health throughout the game. We got a lot of heart pieces. And there's also two servings inside of that elixir soup, so that's really good. And she can make some more for us anytime. We just have to keep going back to outside Ida, which is the downside. But, you know, it's completely worth it. Oh, don't worry. I don't do a lot of things reckless, just some things reckless. See ya, Grandma. I'm gonna go visit some of the other villagers. Well, at least one more. Because there was something I missed during my test run, and I just saw it when I was over here farming earlier. And I am quite interested in seeing what it, this house has to offer. It's probably a hundred rupees, or a well, okay, I hope it's a hundred rupees. It's the house over here. And I don't care about the chew jellies right now. Alright. Okay, there is something... You can also crawl underneath the house. I do not think there's anything here that is, yeah, it's just a, a repeat. Not really worth the time, but it's something inside the house that I want more. I noticed there was a treasure chest in here when I was farming, and I just came in here randomly. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I startled you. Oh, I came out to harass you, huh? Oh, <laughs> I love sleep too, honestly, and I don't get a good night's sleep lately either. Too busy thinking about too many things. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I was just over there, actually. I kind of got the fairy to, the fairies to help out my grandma. Alright. And inside this treasure chest, we get... 20 rupees? That's it? I was sort of hoping for more. Huh. Okay, well... 20 is better than none, I suppose. Let's go ahead and go to the back of the island and take a good old visit to this Jaboon that Valu and the King of Alliance seem to know so much about. Yep. Just gotta make our way over there. And again, you can find more chew jellies if you want to. I figured I'd be killing tons of them throughout the game, to, and I don't really need to do that anymore. And let's go ahead and... Oh wait, now let's put that there and that there. Okay, there we go. Just to make sure we're ready. No, 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 leave me alone. I just want to get to my ship, please. Stick it, shoe jellies. Seriously, who the hell created them? Ganondorf? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Yeah, sure are. Yeah, let's get kicking it. There's nothing else that I plan on doing. So since I have the wind blowing in this direction, I am just going to use it to go this way. And I'll probably have to change the direction of the wind. We'll see. Because it's just right back here. See this whirlpool here? Don't worry about going in it. We actually want to go inside this whirlpool. Okay. There is no Octo this time. But instead, there is the rock wall that we want to hit. So remember that candy bean game we played? Yeah, once you take out your bombs, this is quite useful. You end up, well, the candy bean game was good practice on how to use your your stuff. Okay, let's get them on top. There we go. We gotta break it down in segments. So now we want to aim for the middle, and now we want to aim for the bottom. Okay, we're almost there. Come on, Link. Boom! There we go! I mean, it look a lot easier than it really is, because you, you go around this whirlpool, you have to keep realigning the cannon, and then you have to hit it in a certain spot, and sometimes it can take a few minutes. But wow, I 
Got that down pretty quickly. Sweet! Oh, this is an interesting cave. Uh, where is this water sphere? Oh. Whoa, he's a big water spirit. You know, it kind of reminds me of those fish that are under the ocean, and it's really dark, and they have like this light source they use to bait fish in, and then they eat them. I don't understand a single word he's saying. Apparently you can translate what they're saying, though. Like there's some, some picture on the internet or something. Someone actually took the time to translate all this or something. Not so. What's he talking about, King of Red Lions? You mean Ganondorf? Oh. Yeah, I'm not the hero of time. But I'm still a Link, and I'm wearing green. And I have lots of courage. Because, you know, children don't know fear. At least a lot of them don't. They're fearless! I don't know what he's... I, I kind of can figure what he's talking about, but we don't know exactly... Word for word on what he's saying. Ooh! Don't have to go through any dungeons to get this pearl. Hell no! So we get Neighbor's Pearl. Yeah, that the water spirit Jaboon was kind enough to give us. Why, thank you very much, Jaboon. I'll just be leaving now. Uh, uh King of Alliance, can you translate? Oh. So they were a curse, huh? Yeah, I'm not surprised Ganon would do something so foul and so dirty. You... you have what? Uh, can someone tell me what's going on here? Okay. Well, funny you knows what Jaboon is saying, and I'd like to see a translation of that, actually. So he's... yeah, it's been broken by the power of the pearl. Wow, so we have all all the pearls now, so now what we're going to have to do is take them to the places marked on our sea chart. Which the King of Alliance was nice enough to show us. I'm not surprised Ganon would do something like that. I don't believe he's a nice guy, putting a curse on the whole ocean and everything. Oh, I don't have any business I need to finish here. But I do want to go to A7 real quick. So let's go ahead and make our way over to A7 before we end the episode for just one more side quest, viewers. It's, it's really quick. I didn't want to do this earlier. I decided to save it till later. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, and we should also get a little bit of money while we're at it. So now that we got a bigger rupee bag, it's actually worth the time to get some of these treasures. So if you see any of these little light circles, yes, viewers, now is the time to grab them because we're going to be needing a lot of money after the next area. So, yeah, go ahead and grab some of them. Even grab the ones that your treasure charts reveal. Even though sometimes you'll get unlucky and just get 20 rupees, but nah, better than being poked with a sharp stick in the behind, you know? Okay, yeah, we're going to go this way. Not too bad, anyways. I do want to make sure I get it on my C chart. My goal is to get the whole C chart throughout this Let's Play, as well as showing it without making any tedious backtracking that, you know, that bad. Okay, there's the fish I'm looking for. But before we go over there, there are some pirates here that I really want to bother. So, yeah. Let's, oh, jeez. That sounded really bad. It sounded like a cannon killed a bird. Wow. They are definitely not kind to their birds. Hopefully the birds don't knock me off the ladder. I would really hate that right now. Maybe birds are manning the cannons. Who knows? Okay, come here. Seriously, you're just gonna land in front of me? Nope, you don't get attacked me, pirates. Ow. Take that back. You gotta hit me. Wow, you just hit your own guy. How do you feel about that? Die! Come here! There we go. There we go, I got that birdie. Oh, okay. Droid pendant, that's always good. And then there's a switch. 
And we hit the switch that reveals a treasure chest over there. And yes, viewers, I do want that. I don't see why I wouldn't want the treasure chest over there. Oh gosh. Where's my boat? Okay. Let's go ahead and make our way over to this one. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. There we go. Alright. Ah, let's go ahead and climb on up there. I could have done this side quest earlier, viewers, but I decided not to for good reasons. I do need a... I haven't finished Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance yet either, to, to be completely honest with you guys. And here we can get a skull necklace. Oh, that's not what I was thinking it was going to be. But okay, uh, some small treasures, okay. Even though we can easily get skull necklaces later. Okay, kill the bird. Okay, hit this switch. Oh, that would be over there. Thanks, game. Maybe that's the treasure chest I want. Okay. Nope. Die, please. There we go. Okay, kill that bird, and... I guess that guy doesn't really care about coming back. Okay, now let's go over there and get the other treasure chest. It's probably going to be something small, but... Well, to be honest, viewers, I want it anyways. Alright, okay, almost there. So, I wonder what's inside this treasure chest. Maybe it's a joy pendant, maybe it's a skull necklace that we... Pretty damn amazing if it was a Knight's Crest, or heck, maybe it's a treasure chart. Although I don't think treasure charts appear at all in those kind of treasure chests. I know I wish, right? But no. Regardless, we still want this treasure chest because inside it contains. Oh, I was not expecting that. A gold feather. Okay, in case you need some more golden feathers, but. The only side quest I can remember off the top of my head that you require gold golden feathers on is. Well, the one where you give the 20 gold feathers to the guy on Dragon Roost Island. Oh, okay, I already got that. Let's see, where is the island? That's not it. Is it? Okay, let's sit. Okay, that's... I believe that's the island I'm thinking of. Well, I sure hope so. And you do not need to destroy the cannons on that one this time around. And if we do, I'll be sure to let you know. Also, some treasure I want to get here. Uh, if I don't get destroyed. Okay, let's get rid of this damn fish. Come on, come back. Oh, thanks, Link. I wish you targeted him sooner. You gotta come back or what? Ha! How do you like me now? Stinking bird. I mean, flying fish. Alright, let's see. We are by... I don't think that one's it. Huh. Yeah, I don't have it marked on my map, but I thought I was close to it. No. Weird. It should look like a horseshoe. Huh. Maybe I should just test my luck. Alright, time to go down. It does sound pretty loud anyways. No. I didn't think so. I need to try on this side. Okay. Where's the fish? He's around here somewhere. Ah, okay, he's over here. Let's go to mark up our C chart before I end the episode, viewers. Didn't exactly do what I wanted, but that's okay. I am running out of things to talk about because these side quests just. Ugh. Well, there's so many side quests to do in this game that it takes up a lot of time. I haven't cut down on a few of them from this Let's Play. From stuff we, we will not need at all. Sure, uh, what can you tell me about this island? Hopefully, something really interesting, huh? Horseshoe Island. Oh, that's kind of like a horseshoe, huh? So, what do you guys say about this place? 
All a man who was once a master swordsman lives on the island due east, huh? Oh. Well, why not? Do I have to give you the next thing a bait? No, nah, that's all the info he's gonna give us, huh? Yeah, so don't give him any more bait. He's not gonna tell you what to do, but... What does Horseshoe Island have in store for us? Find out next time. Well, let's play Legends of the Wind Waker. Have a good day.